pretty soon they're going to be groping you on your way in. Why? Because we've decided we don't need personal responsibility. We're going to put our responsibility for our safety over to a bunch of pot belly pedophiles. That's where we're at. Let's move on to those zuckers out there. Stocks end higher, but Spain weighs and Facebook sags 9%. Uh, Facebook shares have tumbled sharply like we predicted they would because it looks, and now it appears to be a pump and dump. Now they're almost $10 below from where they were. They're at $29 a share or uh, let's see, over 20% off its value since its May 18th debut. And European shares closed higher, but worries over the Spanish banks kept a damper on gains. So they lost, they went their credit rating from B to BB minus with a negative watch. So that doesn't bode well. And, and we all know Spain is the next, uh, they're gonna be the next country on the list after Greece, and then it's Portugal, and, and then it's gonna be the rest of Europe. And once it happens to England, we're not too far away. Get prepared if you're not prepared out there. All those of you laughing at us who are telling you to get prepared with food and water and shelter and firearms, don't laugh because it's going to happen. Moving on, we got a video here uh, that Alex Jones produced. If you haven't seen it, Bono's Secret, front man for genocide. So we're going to go to this video. It's about 11 minutes long, and him and Aaron Dykes and Rob Jacobson break down Bono, who's from the lead singer of YouTube, if you're not aware of that, and how he's got these foundations, but they, they get a lot of money, but they don't really invest that much money into helping people. Most of it they keep for themselves, and that which, which they do invest is basically for eugenics operations. So here's that video, and we'll be right back. We have now just entered into Virginia to cover Bilderberg 2012, and from the Mobile InfoWars command post defending the Republic from the globalist and the private corporate takeover taking place, we are going to be covering some news here for you ahead of the live radio show tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, 12 noon Eastern. Aaron Dykes, uh, one of the co-hosts of InfoWars Nightly News, is here with me. We were just talking about Bono of U2 and how it's confirmed that he has gotten hundreds of millions of dollars from people uh, giving money to charity, believing it's helping little starving black children. But he's also gotten money from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which he admits is the majority of his money. Now, this has been known for years that 1% or less, it varies year to year, one year 1.3, one year you know, 0.9, but around 1%, I guess that's why one of his charities is called 1%, the other, they hit that whole red campaign, because it is 1%. Now, the other issue here is, on the other side of that, he promotes carbon taxes that they admit uh, from the UN's own numbers would kill about a billion people over the next decade if they put them in, in Latin America, Africa, and other areas. In fact, it's already killing people. We've got some articles on that. You pulled that up, right? The InfoWars article that linked yeah. over to... Uh, all right, well, we'll show that last. The point is, we've got a bunch of tabs here we want to show you. Rob Jacobson's on camera. Uh, Aaron, get people an overview of what you're about to cover, that Rob's going to come around and show people what we're doing here, what we're looking at. I mean, the amount of evidence we spent hours just pouring over this. And sure, we've covered it before, but it's hiding in plain view. Bono is supporting a program of eugenics that will kill hundreds of millions of people, if not billions conservatively. He's a Bill and Melinda Gates front. He's involved in all this eugenics stuff. But he's the rocker with the red sunglasses. And had the other guy part of Bill and Melinda Gates, you know, he heads up the big banks, get the biggest bank bailouts, but he wants taxes raised, so your money goes to him. Warren Buffett, always posing with an ice cream cone, non-threatening. Non-threatening rocker front guy. Non-threatening Bill and Melinda Gates paying ABC News and hundreds of other publications to cast him as a superhero. They think you're idiots, okay? Now, I know you're awake, but it's time to wake up the other people. we got to beat these crooks. Come on around here. Well, Aaron, give us a brief synopsis, and then Rob's will come around. Yeah, U2's the ultimate front man, not just for the band he's in, but for the global agenda. And they rope all these celebrities together, moralize to you about how you have to save Africa, but once you study the details, you can never unlearn that it's a eugenics kill operation, and of course to control the economic resources of third world places, Africa, Latin America, you name it. And see, if he just said, hey, there's too many black people, Hispanics, Asians, let's just kill them, I would still be against him. But I'd be like, well, he's being honest. But see, they learned because of Hitler. 
that you don't just come right out and say it and wear a uniform. You go, hey, I got an ice cream cone. I'm an old man. Hey, I'm Bono. You too, baby. But the thing is, they tell the public to invest their money in this and that they're doing something good and saving lives, but it isn't. A, it's part of eugenics. B, the money doesn't even go to That's the what's sick. Is it's a cover for a eugenics program as they try to turn off development to Latin America, Asia, and Africa that would actually lower their population like the West. Once you're industrialized, you have an average of 1.3 children per two parents. It's just totally cold-blooded, but it's the Royal Commission's policy of 1949 that all this is based on. State Department Memorandum 200, 1979, uh, no, 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 1973, Henry Kissinger. All of this is right there. This is a program of deindustrialization. Aaron, continue. Yeah, and uh, similarly, U2's Red campaign also told people they'd be saving HIV victims, fighting the AIDS epidemic, but in reality, they were telling people to buy into Red campaign merchandising, all the biggest companies from America and the, and the globe, but the money given was only about $18 million. Really, it was just getting people to buy their products believing they're doing something good. And again, Warren Buffett, Bill and Melinda Gates, all these big globalists, they all give money to eugenics, but you've got to drill down to find that out. Their tens of billions are made tax-free, and so now, instead of paying 30 40% taxes, they're all tax-free, and then just the profit is used to carry out their pet project, World Government, which is a status takeover for corporate welfare and control of resources. Come around here uh, on the RV as we hurtle down the road at 75 miles an hour with Richard Reeves driving. Come around here, Rob, and show folks uh, uh, the, the uh, different exhibits. Uh, Jacobson, do you have any comments on how sick this is? I think it's uh, totally treacherous. I mean, the fact of the matter is that these, these people, I mean, I can't even put into words how evil this is. I mean, for one thing, what is Bono doing floating around with these globalists on the one hand, and on the other hand, pretending to be some activist for peace and African children and starving this and... And at the other, and on the other side, he's hanging out with some of the top eugenicists, some of the most worst global trash, you know, around. And again, he says he's saving the world and lectures to all of us about don't take a hot bath, don't go on a vacation, your carbon dioxide plants breathe is evil. Now, 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 tell folks about this. A little over one percent. So the foundation is under fire for only giving one percent of its funds to charity, and they play it off and explain, well, we're basically promoting the idea of saving people instead of actually giving money to programs. But then you look at the last paragraph of the article, one said it took no money from the public, that most of its funds came from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Let's turn that phrase around. They're admitting they're just a front for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And he admits he wants funds. carbon taxes that are right at double what's on the West, totally destroying these countries. And here's one of the cap and trade articles. Oh, but he's he's a good guy. He's Planet. teaching us lessons. Do as I do, not as I say. And all of his lavish spending, all of his carbon, all of his jets, his dozens of houses, but little old ladies are bad. And show him this one. Costly red campaign reaps meager $18 million. And here's just a few of the products, American Express, different types of phones and technologies that they sold to people on the premise they were going to be saving lives in Africa. And then that's why it was only $18 because it's 1%. It was, it was all just a gimmick. Well, to be clear, these are two separate but sure. related charities. Sure, but sure. Yeah. He does the same thing on every front. But, right, continue. but that's not all. We look back at the... Oh, he's Jesus. Go back to the Jesus article. This is some of the coverage. Oh, the he's traveling the world. He's oh. the Jesus of the poor. Oh, my God. He wants and, to cut... It's a religion article. Your religion is Bono and, and worshiping the globalists. And, and carbon tax. They're going to tax you more for less. More for your water, more for your oil. Not to help the earth, but because they want a post-industrial world. You won't be so uppity. But, but look at this. In the first paragraph here, it mentions Elevation Partners, which it was widely publicized, were part of the... Blackstone. Big, they're part of the big Facebook IPO that happened last Friday. Bono, again, is the front man, but let's look Which at... you said, and we said weeks before, was a big pump and dump scam to rip everybody off. Now admit it, but they spin it like he lost money. He actually made one 
plus million. The writing is on the wall. Here's Elevation Partners. Bono is the true front man. You got two Apple people in the firm. The other two are leveraged buyout derivative monster ripping devouring companies. Blackstone with representation at Bilderberg. They're and the Silver ones Lake. gobbling up the pension funds. The other is Silver Lake. They work together with groups like KKR. Buddies uh, liberal. KKR, Bain Capital, and others. They all work together to buy out pension funds, to buy out companies, you name it. And then loot them, then hyperinflate the currency and pay it back with devalued dollars. But look what happened with the Facebook pump and dump scam. On May 18th, the day of the Facebook IPO, there was the kind of bad press that Bono was about to become the richest rocker that his uh, elevation firm was going to pick up $1.5 or more. But look how they spun it a week later. There's all these articles about how... Yeah, because people now know it was a pump and dump criminal scam and that they were all selling right at the start and right before making Martha Stewart look like an angel. It's all about how he lost $342 million, but really, give him the numbers. Oh, they always hide it in the same article, Lenny. But really, they picked up $1.84 billion because some little birdie told them to invest $90 million back in 2009. And instead of 20 steps forward with $2.9 billion, they reported on the three steps back that put them down to only $1.8 billion. And again, they know there's class warfare. He's the one always saying raise taxes on people because through government welfare and banker bailouts, like with Buffett, he gets the money. But then they want they know to say, oh, don't worry, he lost too, so it's okay. It's all psych warfare. They give you the number of the three steps back, not 20 steps forward. So they say, oh, I'm not richer than the Beatles' Paul McCartney. I'm just a lowly YouTuber. But look what he else, says that. He says that. Look what else they hide in the article. He added, in elevation, we invest other people's money, endowments, pension funds. We do get paid, of course, but you know, blah, blah, blah. And again, that would be okay if it was free market. These guys want a monopoly, a Gen 21 post industrial system where they shut us down. Back to Elevation Partners, we told you about Blackstone and Silver Lake. Last week, it was a big debate because a lot of Obama's Democrats tr want to attack Romney on the Bain Capital issue, but a number of prominent Obama supporters, Cory Booker, the mayor in New Jersey, of course, said, no, no, we don't attack pension funds. Let's not go there. They own our pension funds. They own our state pension funds. They bought, uh, Between Blackstone, KKR, Silver Lake, Bain, and the others, they bought out the pension funds and Texas, California, for teachers. But they love black people, they said. And here they are investing in things like Facebook pump and dump and all kinds of other investments. What did what did the head of Facebook call? Market. He called his, his users dumb effort. This is wrong, Alex. People have put money into these pensions for 20, 30, 40, 50 years expecting to have that money when they retire. And here they are trading it on the derivatives market, putting it into leveraged buyouts where they stack up the dominoes and prepare them to be tipped over. They well, really I mean, want to gut us. I mean, they've looted the, 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 the pension funds, the Social Security, you saw all of it. That's why they're getting the police state ready is to control us. Now, we're almost out of time on this video. Uh, I want to show you some more articles. Now, this is the London Telegraph. We also have Infowars.com. Killing Ugandans to save the planet. And, folks, if this is making you sick, I'm sorry. We're multitasking. Driving on the road to Bilderberg 2012. Hope to see you there. But this is killing Ugandans to save the planet. They actually run them out of their own property, kill them if they don't leave for carbon sinks. Just the excuse, take the property. This is also happening in Honduras. This is nothing but neo-colonialism wrapped in a we're saving the earth. Yeah, and it's where the rubber meets the road with eugenics and all these investment bankers who all centralize around Bilderberg, Blackstone and these other firms I mentioned, and uh, Bill and Melinda Gates. No, they have course. a predatory, cannibalistic thing where they implode like vulture capitalism, not free market. It's all done as crony insider monopoly, so they're anti-free market. And here he is again, lecture on cap and trade. We showed you that. So there you have it. Alex Jones, Aaron Dykes, Rob Jacobson on their way to Bilderberg, still breaking down the globalist power game. <laughs> and I tell you, it's going to be non-stop from here. So be sure you check out our Bilderberg articles and whatnot. Another way to keep informed is if you become a member of Planet InfoWars. There it is. It's our beta test, but you can get on because you're a member of PrisonPlanet.tv. And there's a Bilderberg uh, InfoWars official group. You can get on and see all the updates from there. We're going to have video updates from uh, one of our own people here, one of the moderators. Um, and you can watch that video, Bilderberg Digging Their Own Graves from Alex Jones. Got a lot of stuff to prepare for you, and please become a member of Planet InfoWars, become a member of Prison Planet TV. It's the way you support us.